Is this the best program that MLB The Show has ever dropped? I feel like it's kind of crazy. We have 99 Ken Griffey Jr., 99 Vlad Sr., 99 Joe Mauer, 99 Babe Ruth, Bob Gibson, Lindor, Jimmy Fox, Dennis Eckersley. Like, this is just absolutely insane. 99 Chris Sale. We also have the final full roster update that includes everybody, not just the postseason teams of the year that dropped today. So we're covering all that in this video. In the comments section, a few things. No Number one, which player are you most excited for from the Fall Stars program? I feel like for me, it's got to be either Joe Mauer, Babe Ruth, Griffey, maybe Vlad Sr. It's really hard to choose one. I want to know your World Series winner prediction. I'm going with the Cardinals. How'd the roster update go? Did your investments pay off? Anything like that. But let's take a look at this first player. We got a 98 overall Whitey Ford right here. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on every card today. I'm going to spend more time on the bosses. I was a little bit surprised to see 2014 Madison Bumgarner postseason card be only a 97. I felt like he did a little bit better than a 97 that year, but I also don't really have the best memory. Four seam slider, sweeping curve, sinker, cur circle change. 112 hits per nine is really good. The VLO a little bit low, 99 break, 89 control. Obviously, Mad Bum is going to have some hitting attributes. 63 and 65 for his power. You got a big dog pack, 99 Willie Stargell. Oh, this man has some power in his bat. 119, 100 contact, 125, 120 for the power. Place first if you want to put him there or left and right field. We have the first Fall Stars bosses pack at 100,000 points. So I'm going to show you the attributes of all the bosses. And oh my God, man, like just look at this. 99 babe ruth 125 contact versus both sides and power is maxed out the defense really isn't that bad with 64 speed and right field left field first base if you want to put him there as well oh my goodness man i feel like i've never seen a better program than this in mlb history with how many of these 99s are here like this is just insane we got bob gibson 110 hits per nine max down stamina v low breaking controls at 90 you can see each individual pitch right there the controls really not that badly i feel like the change up in the curveball bringing that down a little bit the break's gonna be nasty if you guys want to see his quirks here solid pitch selection for bob gibson as well i'm hoping i like this card as a cardinals fan 99 chris sale i'm, I'm terrified mom please come pick me up i feel like i may never get another base hit again in this game 120 hits per nine 99 break 90 velo 95 control with the pitchers we got the top right for each individual pitch four seam slider circle change and a sinker oh man i feel like i have trouble hitting chris sales silver card I'm scared to face that one. Relief pitcher, closing pitcher, Dennis Eckersley. Max down hits per nine. 76 velo, but we know that doesn't matter with Dennis. He's good no matter what. 97 control and 95 break with that pitch selection makes him pretty nasty. Look at that. 99 control on the slider sinker and four seam, then 92 on that curve. With that break on each individual pitch. That's just going to be disgusting. He's going into my bullpen right away. 99 francisco lindor now i'm gonna be honest i was expecting minimum 100 for i feel like all the hitters contact and power today but still a diamond switch hitter with that fielding that you see behind me was 76 speed 105 and 103 power 114 contact versus lefties makes me feel a little bit better 95 definitely lower than i would have liked i feel like i'm not gonna use him over jimmy rollins or maybe some of the other options we have. Lightning Bo Bichette, for example. Uh, it's a little bit strange to me that, you know, this card is coming out after those. But with that being said, I love Lindor Swing. I just feel like attributes-wise, I'm not going to be taking him off my team. But look at Jimmy Fox. This might be my new catcher. Who should I use at catcher instead of Jimmy Fox, who has maxed out contact and power versus both sides? I know the defense isn't quite there. But it really seems like that's not super, super important in this game. And I don't know if I can justify using somebody else over Jimmy Fox at catcher. That's disgusting. Oh, man. Like, and, and just looking at Babe, looking at Jimmy, it makes me a little bit more sad looking at Lindor. But Lindor's got that defense advantage as well. And oh, man, maybe I'll use Joe Maurer at catcher. Because look at Joe Maurer's defense. Yeah, he's got a little bit lower power. But the contact is maxed out versus both sides. He's got 115 power versus righties. 92 power still isn't bad, right? Oh, man. 
Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll be using Joe Mauer a catcher and, and Jimmy Fox somewhere else. 99 Griffey. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um <laughs> if y'all can't tell, I'm happy with this program. I am very, very happy with this program. We finally got the real 99 Griffey. 122, 111 for his contact. 125 and 121 for his power. 98 fielding, 90 speed. Oh man. It, it, can I just get all of these cards? And then finally, we got the final boss, Vlad Sr. Max down contact versus both sides. Max down power versus lefties. 104 power versus righties. Obviously, he's going to have 99 arm strength, 92 accuracy, 78 speed in the outfield, man. I, I honestly, besides maybe the all-star one, but like the all-star cards were just not on this level. Like these are 99 overalls. These are insane looking cards. Joe Carter. I'm never going to use this man versus a right-handed pitcher, but versus lefties, he's looking great. Just off the bench in general as a, as a pinch hitter, this isn't one of the bosses. This is just one of the extra cards. I would, I, I think, consider this a henchman probably, but we got a 99 Joe Carter right there. Your second boss pack at 150,000. 99 Kurt Gibson, 105 and 108 contact, 93 and 105 for his power. He got some more packs. 99 Luis Gonzalez. I love Luis Gonzalez cards. Max down power versus both sides. Max down contact versus righties. 117 versus lefties. Really not bad defense in the outfield. I guess left and right field, I should say. With 60 speed. I think he's going to be a bench bat for me. Especially versus right-handed pitching. Max down contact and power versus righties. I feel like I got to use them. You can keep grinding out XP. This is a month-long program. A lot of packs thrown in here. A lot of things you can earn along the way, going all the way to 1 million XP with five of those balling out of controls at the end. In addition to that amazing program, we also have the final full roster update of the year. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because you can see there's 82 pages. And I'm um, probably just going to pretty much go exactly like this. Maybe try to point out new diamonds. We can see right there, Danny Jansen is a new diamond. Brandon Woodruff, New Diamond. Andres Munoz, Evan Phillips, and Christian Javier are brand new diamonds. Pete Alonzo, Correa, and Albert! Yo, that makes me kind of happy, I'm not going to lie. Oh, seeing Albert as a diamond to finish off the year makes me happy. Awesome. We also have Hunter Renfro as our final new diamond for the day. Let me know, did your investments pay off? Is there any one that you feel like they missed? And this final roster update, I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all every individual page. And then I'm going to check the calendar to hopefully see and make sure if I missed anything or kind of check what's to come. See if we maybe have a little bit of an updated calendar. But I'm really happy with the content recently. I don't know about y'all. I feel like for the past month or so, ever since, I don't know exactly when it was. It, it, it kind of feels like the, the bad 99 Griffey. There was just one point where they had a really lackluster, underwhelming, mediocre content drop. And ever since that specific one, I feel like they're just not missing. Yeah, some cards here and there as part of the content drops, some of the, the attribute ratings, I would like to be a little bit higher, especially with the timing of things, right? Like seeing that Lindor card, I would have preferred to have him a little bit longer ago because we have options like that Jimmy Rollins, like that Lightning Boba Shett, that Barry Larkin. I just feel like we have a lot of better on paper options. I just kind of feel like sometimes their timing of certain cards doesn't line up with the timing of other cards. But it's not like that Lindor is a bad card by any means. I just don't know if I'd want to use them over other people is what I'm saying. But overall, in general, I feel like for the, for the past month, maybe two... In my opinion, they really haven't been missing with the content. Some cards here and there, yeah, don't really want to use them. But overall, I feel like they've been doing a great job, man. I've been very happy with the content drops. A lot of fun cards that I want to use. I just wish I had a little bit more fun with the working as intended. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what you think of everything down in the comment section. I'm not even seeing a calendar on here. But like and subscribe. Feel free to click one of these videos. New showdown on the 11th postseason program dropping on the 14th. Today we had the fall stars and the roster update. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Wow.